Leo, you are up for the general tarot energy reading. There is no date to this particular reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and tarot cards. Let's talk about this now or never. Nine of Cups, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It came out in the reverse. And the thing is, is that everything is saying you can get the Nine of Cups. But I believe a lot of you are tired. The reason I'm saying that, you've been dealing with some stuff. Nine of Wands, the, the Wounded Warrior. Also, in this particular deck, it says Resilience. It's hard to see, but Resilience is at the bottom of the deck. So, Aries... Sagittarius and Leo for the wands energy. The Knight of Pentacles. This one says reliability. So you've been resilient and you've been reliable. But I feel that you're tired because things are moving slowly. Don't forget Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. Because things have been moving slowly, this is given you time, uh, let me rephrase. Because things have been moving slowly, it has allowed things to build up over time, baggage and everything else, whether it's thoughts, um, connections with people, things like that, all of this stuff to surround you over time. And I feel it's been draining for you. This reading is saying, Leaving that in 2023. By the way, Happy New Year. We're in 2024 now. One of the Oracle cards that came out, number 18, 18 could be significant to you. Is And I just, and also nine could be because one plus eight is nine. It says, let it go. This situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. Let me read that again. This situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. Let it go. Doesn't she look like Erica Badu? Like a white Erica Badu? I was looking at that earlier. I was like, she looks like Erica Badu. But whatever. <laughs> I digress. Let it go. I, like I said, I feel because you've been going through this over a long period of time, because again, Knight of Pentacles, very slow, slow moving. You're really drained. And when you're moving into a different energy, you have to leave the past in the past. And that's what this is saying. So you can embrace that new energy. The path is already being set up for you. All you have to do is make the choice to get on this path. And it says... Um, Oracle card number one. All is in perfect timing. Isn't it interesting that this card is about starting something and it's number one. And today is January the 1st of a new year. Where you have a new path available to you. It says, this is it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. So all is in perfect timing is what it says. This is it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. So it is time to take action. I feel like for some of you, that's what you believe you have been doing. You've been taking action, but it hasn't been leading to the things that you thought it would lead to. I, I feel that there are different actions that can be taken to get you on a more expedient path. Now I will say that we just came out of a Mercury retrograde. So that might have also been some of the heaviness. That you were dealing with. Now the lovers came out. The lovers card can be about lovers relationships. Or it can be about choices. Because this card was originally the choice card. This is Gemini energy. Is what this is. Now the princess of cups came out. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it says dreams at the bottom. And do you want to make the choice to follow your dreams? King of Pentacles. 
Do you want to see the world? Do you want to have a say in what goes on in your life or in the world? Being in some type of authority, having power over your life, taking back your power. Do you want to take back your power? If you feel you lost it. The justice card. Libra energy. Justice can be about reciprocity. It can be about the universe correcting a wrong. It can be about legal things. It can also be about contracts. But this card is known as karma too. I feel that you will receive something if you persevere. The seven of pentacles, meaning investing, laying down roots. In this particular deck, it says perseverance at the bottom. Perseverance will lead you to the nine of cups in the upright. But you have to believe that you can make it there. I know that this has been a slow haul. And it's like, will it ever end? Yes, it will end. But you need to keep going and you need to step on the right path. And the universe is lighting the way for you to do that. But in order for you to do that, you have to let some things go. So... What it's saying is, is what the title is, is now or never. And that is your message, Leo. Until next time, be blessed.